Good morning. It's Monday, January 4th, 2021, and this country is coming apart at the seams. On January 6th, there will be a major uprising when the final step in certifying that Joe Biden is the president. A group of Senate led by Ted Cruz, the Republican from Texas, is joining Josh Hawley in his insane quest to keep President Trump in office. These senators say they will object on Wednesday, January 6th, to the certification of the presidential election results that obviously favored Joe Biden over President Trump. Unless there is an emergency 10-day audit of the results by an electoral commission. Now, I don't know what these senators think they're talking about because 34 states automatically do post-election audits. And all of these states have verified their counts several times over. And we're talking about red states and blue states. This is not a question that there was a miscount or a screwed-up election in major states, except in the minds of a couple of Trump acolytes and loyalists who don't want to give up the presidency. This entire situation was fomented by President Trump. And the reason these senators and congressmen are stepping forward is because they are afraid that if they don't stand by Trump, they will lose a portion of those 75 million loyal Trump voters. It's nothing more than that. This is a charade. It's a stain on our democracy, a big stain. Cruz and the other senators claim the November 3rd election featured unprecedented allegations of voter fraud and illegal conduct. And let's remember this important fact, that the Republicans gained seats in the House and they gained seats in the Senate. So if this election was rigged, why in the world would the riggers, the so-called cheaters, allow the Republicans to gain seats in the House and the Senate? Doesn't make any sense at all. And who was making all those claims? Just one man, just President Trump. And 60 cases went to the courts. And did he win one? No. And did they present any creditable evidence? No. So what is the purpose of this January 6th revolt? To have mad people running around the streets with loaded guns? To have the Proud Boys come out from their hideouts? To have all these right, right, right wing groups on the streets rallying behind them? Is that what we want the world to see? Is that what we want to see? Scaring the shit out of civilized people, people who are tired from the pandemic? Is that the kind of thing that our elected officials really want to see? Just to save their jobs, possibly? Now, Josh Hawley, who was from Missouri and started the truckers, said he was making a claim because Pennsylvania didn't follow their own election law. And maybe he's right about that. Maybe they had to do some things because of the pandemic. That doesn't mean that the election was rigged. That means we had to accommodate the vicious enemy that's roaming the streets of our country under the name of COVID-19. But I don't know what these other nine or ten senators from states like Oklahoma and Wisconsin and Louisiana and Tennessee and Indiana and Wyoming, what they have to bitch about. Because they're joining of this so-called senatorial revolution came out of nowhere, came out of nowhere. So in my view and in the view of many others, the GOP has become a lawless, un-American party willing to throw over our democracy. And why? 
Not because they want to do good, but because they want to keep their job. Well, they may find out that, well, that there were many voters who left the party to vote for Biden because of the terrible job that they thought that Trump was doing. And those voters may turn against these very people who are standing here and objecting because they believe the votes were fraudulently counted and illegally presented. You know, there are Republicans out there who voted for Biden. Biden did not win this election on a pure Democratic vote. He won this election with an amalgamation of voters, a lot of independent voters who may think twice about voting Republican. You know, there was a rumor that was running around that Biden received 130% of the Democrats in Arizona to win the state. But what that rumor neglected to look at was the amount of independents who voted for Biden in that election. Biden did not win that election in the state of Arizona by just the Democrats, because the Democrats are a minority party in Arizona. He won it because he got over 600,000 independent votes in that election. And that's what's happening here. And so these Republicans who are standing up and objecting are really putting themselves at risk. They may not garner the votes that they think they're going to garner. They should think about that. Think about what they're doing to this country. Think about how they're making us the laughing stock of the world. This is one step short of a civil war. That's a terrible fact, sound, right? You have 10 supposedly intelligent, supposedly respected men coming to the floor to object to what has been counted and recounted and perfectly legitimate result. I don't know how anything's going to get done in this country if we have people doing the things that these senators are doing and these congressmen. Let's not forget the congressmen who are joining them. The senators are at least protected a little bit because they come up for a vote every six years. But congressmen have to have to do some work to keep their jobs because they run every two years. So in any event, January 6th is going to be a very ugly day, in my opinion. I think the best thing that could happen might be a monumental snowstorm or something. Maybe these guys won't be able to get to work. In any event, that's all I have for today, and I'll see you in the morning. Bye. 